Welcome back everyone. So we saw in the previous video how we managed to develop a nearby functionality or feature. And this functionality allows the user to display the nearby stores within 20 kilometers depending on his current location. Okay, so for example, if I click here on nearby, it will display the nearest store. Okay, here in my case, it's a store in Zvika. Okay, but as I mentioned in the previous video also that this value is hard coded it's not dynamic it's by default 20 okay but now we want to make it dynamic we will we want to allow the user to change the any variable he wants he wants for example 10 20 30 40 whatever whatever he wants okay so for that before we continue i want to install this library right here it's called slider and this will allow us to integrate or implement something like this and that's how we'll manage to let the user control the distance okay so the first thing we need to do here is to import this library right here okay so for that let's import the slider from attract native community forward slash slider okay the next thing I want you to do is to define our state okay so let's go here and let's say for example uh, okay let's say selected distance okay and by default of course it's number number here sorry and by default let's say it will be 10 okay we will change it later okay let's say it's 20 okay so what else we need also to change this and we need to change to selected distance okay so what's next after that we need to go down right here and let's go to our here okay now we need to implement our slider so where can we put it so maybe after uh, let's say after this view right here yeah uh, let's define a view and let us give it a style okay let's say styles dot and since it will contain the slider so we will call it slider container okay inside this view we need a text okay and let's style it to give it a bit of a style let's name it for example distance text okay and here we will say uh, distance and of course selected distance okay good so after the text we will define our slider okay so it's of course it's self-closing tag and let's go so we need a style of course let's say styles let's name it slider simply and we need minimum value okay so our minimum value let's say 20 okay maximum value will be for example for the moment let's let's uh, let's put 60 okay minimum tracks and color will be say okay and maximum tracks and color let's say The value, of course, is the selected distance and on value change. Let's say here value set selected distance of value. Okay, and that's all. Now we just simply need to define our styles. Okay, so let's start with the slider container. So 
since it's after the bottom text all so let's go here and let's define our slider container okay so we need of course flex direction which will be uh, let's say color and uh, we need align items of course which will be center we also need uh, justify content which will also be center and padding horizontal let's say 20 okay okay let's not forget the comma here okay so what's next we have the distance text so after the slider container let's define our distance text styling okay okay so what can we do here distance let's say font size for example will be 16 and uh, the margin bottom let's say for example 5 okay so what's next we have the slider which is let's put it here okay so this slider will take 100% width okay oh sorry but and let's say it needs a margin bottom of uh, let's say 5 okay so we defined everything normally so let us check again so we defined our state which is where is it so which is selected distance by default it's 20 and then we we replaced the hard-coded variable which was 20 here by the selected distance and now we defined our slider inside a view and we pass the selected distance variable and yeah so let's test it okay so here we have our slider which is by default 20 uh, if I click on nearby it will display yeah since it's uh, it's here it's near me okay for example if I add more value here let's say uh, 32 there is nothing let's say here 50 okay it displays a stork in commits because if we access here we'll find that the distance between the user's current location and the store is 36.69 kilometers or 0.95 kilometers okay so for example let's retest this again let's say for example 34 or let's say 30 okay so it will disappear 46 let's add more for example 60 okay let's try to here let's uh, update or let's edit the maximum value let's put for example 100 and let's see if we can get more data okay so by default the minimum value is 20 and the maximum is, uh, is 100 if i click nearby yeah leipzig so yeah if we access here and we check the distance so yeah it's uh, 75.65 kilometers so of course it will be displayed or 76.93 kilometers okay so and if i click all we have all our data but it didn't display store in munich because uh simply uh it is a bit far from here it's about i don't know it will display here the info okay so it's about it's around 341 so of course it won't be displayed okay so let's set here to 60. so this is everything uh we literally uh we literally developed something which is much more dynamic we allow now the user to control the nearby distance variable here and yeah probably you can improve this if you want to add like i don't know a button and when you click on it it displays uh, a model that contains these filters right here to make it much more cleaner but you know the purpose of this video is not like a styling or something okay 
maybe in the future I will try to or maybe uh, I will try to improve it and then I will update the code and yeah that's all for today's video I hope you learned something new so see you in the next video bye